Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion Wadjo here and today I want to go ahead and check out this brand new archetype that was just dropped earlier today which is the Fiendsmith archetype which is going to be pretty much support for Light Fiends is what I'm seeing so I haven't read all the cards just yet I saw this first guy is really really cool first of all artwork again fantastic very very cool but I want to go ahead and get into it into the actual card by card go ahead and check it out and see if it's actually going to be have any type of meta implications or meta potential this is going to be coming out in Forbidden uh, Infinite Forbidden which is going to be a brand new set coming out with the Exodia pieces and all that kind of stuff then then they got hyped with the Exodia, uh, the head of Exodia reprint as the ultimate rare in the next OTS, which I again disagree with personally, but it is what it is. So I want to go ahead and get right into it, guys. But before I do, I want to go ahead and make you guys aware that Snake Eyes Popular is just fifteen dollars. For me, the Princess is like seventeen, eighteen dollars right now. The deck is tanking because people fear that the deck is going to get hit, rightfully so. But if you are like me and you want to go ahead and roll the dice, make sure you guys check out the whatnot link in the description. Get you guys fifteen free dollars on the house. All you got do is pay for shipping handling things like that taxes but it gets you a free popular or a very very, very discounted princess but without further ado guys go ahead and get right into it so we got the fiend smith the unholy requiem fiend smith let's go ahead and check it out so even devils may cry before the mercy of the lord all right let's calm down <laughs> Uh, so we've got a, a the fiend smith this guy's just called the fiend smith fine it's a level six light fiend effect monster okay so light fiend of course what we're talking about so level six okay maybe has some graveyard implications in the event it works with beatrice but i'm already thinking too much into it 1800 attack 2400 defense seems to be the only main deck monster since we're just going straight into fusions but let's go i mean we'll, we'll check we'll check it out for sure so you can only use the first second and third effect of this card's name each once returned now typically before i even read it monster cards or cards in general that have more than two effects are genuinely going to be either really really good or all the effects are going to be lackluster but let's check it out so you can only discard you can discard this card cost add any fiendsmith spell trap from your deck to your hand that's pretty good so we got in in archetype rota for the spell traps for the archetype so that's pretty good seeing as how we have fusion monsters i'm not sure it's going to be fusing with itself let's go ahead and take a, see what else is there so you can target one fiendsmith equip card you control okay and one monster in the field send them to the graveyard okay so you can target one fiendsmith equip card you control and one monster on the field send them to the graveyard okay so it's targeting but non-destructive removal which does help get around some things all right uh, and then if this card is in your graveyard you can shuffle one other light fiend monster you control from your graveyard into the deck or extra deck and special summon this card that is really good so it recurs itself use the effect you go ahead and search out your spell whatever the spell does right you go either you fusion summon or whatever it might be and then you can target any other light fiend monster in your graveyard i'm assuming probably another one they use to fusion summon shuffle it into the deck and then you get special summon this card for free so you're basically getting it replaces itself onto the board yes you're getting an advantage from pitching it and then it gets itself back so you're not really losing hand advantage if anything this is an immediate plus one just in simple math guys uh, that that's that's not bad <laughs> that's not bad at all uh let's see what else we got so we got a fusion monster okay so it is fiendsmith lacrimosa cool and this eye looks gnarly first of all uh so let's go ahead and see it's a level six okay so sticking to a level six thing light fiend fusion effect monster of course 2400 attack 2400 defense nice stats materials two light fiend monsters okay so you can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn interesting but i'll bite if this card is fusion summoned, you can target one light fiend monster in your graveyard or banish banishment or banish uh, banish pile either add it to your hand or special summon it okay so in the event we can go ahead and fusion summon into this we can actually go ahead and special summon back the first guy which is not bad at all and then you got target and equip get rid of a monster in the field okay I'm, I'm thinking this is like a going second deck that's not too bad uh, monsters your opponent controls lose 600 attack that's just naturally very nice <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not something that comes up a lot, but you'll notice a lot with especially with Kashira and their field spell, the attack gain that they get is inconvenient in a lot of ways. So I do see that as being a potential problem. Um, okay, well, let's check it out. So if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can shuffle one other light fiend monster from your graveyard into the extra deck, inflict 1,200 points of damage to your opponent. Just if this card is sent to the graveyard, not even sent to the graveyard by your opponent. So. 
in the event you guys go ahead and link this off or fuse with this card as well you're mainly gonna inflict 1200 to, uh, damage to your opponent which is pretty much what sword soul does every time they sync or summon with long yuan so that's this deck is already winning in time so far not bad at all uh, because there's no way to really stop this unless you have skullmeister right so that's pretty good okay all right not bad let's see what else we got uh, let's see, Latin name for weeping, yeah, 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 we don't need to know all that. So we got, okay, our first non-level 6, we got uh, De Demon Smith, whatever, uh, Fiend Smith dies Iray, okay, that's some really cool, it kind of reminds me of Chainsaw Man, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's a level 9 Light Fiend, a fusion effect monster, of course, 2800 attack, 2400 defense, materials is the Fiend Smith specifically, and 2 plus Fiend monsters. I also do see a link down here, so that might be things that's sent to come. If you have to go ahead and link this guy off uh, for maybe like a link 1 or a link 2, whatever it might be, and then you immediately go ahead and burn your opponent for, for, uh, for 1200. But I'm just speculating, of course. Uh, you can only use this card's name first, second effects once per turn each. Quick effect, you can negate the effects of a number of face-up cards on the field until the end of the turn. What? <laughs> Up to the total link rating of link monsters equipped to this card as equipped cards. Okay, gotcha. So you can negate the effects of a number of face-up cards on the field. It doesn't have to be monsters, doesn't have to be spells. Any face-up card on the field as a quick effect, so it kind of serves as an omni negate, which is pretty cool. And then to the end of the until the end of the turn, to total link rating, okay, up to the total link rating of the link monsters equipped to this card. So if you have like uh, Appaloosa linked to this card for whatever or equipped to this card, you get four. Uh, you get to negate four effects, but they all have to be in one. You can't just pick and choose. Uh, it would be crazy if this said up to, you can activate this effect up to the number of link rating of the link monsters equipped. That would be wild. Uh, but overall, still not bad. I mean, you can still get, get to negate a whole bunch of stuff. Especially if you're going second, you just negate their your opponent's entire board. You should be good, except in this format because, of course, Princess activates in the graveyard and you get to go from there. Um, but overall, not bad. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can shuffle one other Light Fiend monster from your graveyard into the deck or extra target card in the field and send it to the graveyard. Again, non-destruction, non-banish, uh, non-banishment removal. So he just sends to the graveyard, which is great. Gets a lot, of, uh, gets around a lot of like Fire King style effects, which is nice. Gets a lot of like uh, around a lot of Unchained effects, which is nice as well. It just it does target, which is the only hindrance here. But overall, not bad. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and check out. We got a Link 1. Uh, so we have the Fiendsmith Requiem, which me, me th gets me thinking of DDD. Just go ahead and say it right off the bat. Uh, so we got this Link 1, Fiend Link Effect Monster, of course, Light. Uh, 600 attack with a downward facing arrow. So far, so good. Uh, materials is one Light Fiend Monster. Can do. You can only special summon in Fiendsmith Requiem once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Okay, so during the main phase, uh, quick effect, you can tribute this card, special summon one Fiend Smith monster from your hand or deck. Interesting. One Fiend Smith from your hand or deck. So, I mean, we only have one Fiend Smith monster so far that I'm aware of anyway, so we're most likely getting a lot more support for this down the line. But, okay, so you can tribute this card, special summon a Fiend Smith monster from your. Okay, that's not bad, I think. <laughs> Um, cause they, yeah, I believe the first guy, you can still go ahead and you can shuffle back one other life you monster. Yeah, okay, so you summon this guy somehow, right? And then you link it off, potentially, because it is a light fiend. You link it off into this, and then this tribute to special summon, and the this guy, the fiend smith, can actually go ahead and shuffle this back. Is that how that works? I don't know, okay. So that's a, that's the first effect. So the second effect is a hard is a hard once per turn. You can target one non-link light fiend monster you control. Equip this card from your field or graveyard to that target as an equip spell. Gives it 600 attack. Okay, now we're talking. So if we go ahead and get rid of this card, we don't we want it in our uh, we want it in our graveyard, right? So that we can then activate the effect to equip it onto a light fiend monster. Okay, so that's what it's talking about. So when the first guy says you can, uh, uh, what's it called, target a Fiend Smith equipped card you control, I don't think it means an equip, it doesn't say equipped spell, it says equipped card, which is a big, big difference, I believe, right? So you can go ahead and actually target these guys 
uh, that are equipped and go ahead and what was the effect again? <laughs> uh, send them to the graveyard, right? Okay, that's not bad. So if you're doing that once per turn, then you can do this every turn because you can go ahead and recycle this, right? So you tribute this guy off if that's a quick effect. Is it a quick effect? That'd be crazy. It's not a quick effect. Fine. Fine. It's not a quick effect. <laughs> but not bad because you just go ahead and just do this every turn. You send the gate next turn or same turn you go ahead and re-equip and then you have uh, negates on this thing as well. Interesting. Okay, so we got Link 2 as well. It is Fiendsmith Sequentia, a Link 2 Light Fiend Effect Monster, 1200 attack, bottom uh, left and bottom right Link arrows, okay. Um, I did see this, uh, the artwork before, they were comparing it to uh, Despair of Darkness, I believe it was. I think it's the same monsters, that's pretty cool, bringing a quick throwback for us, which I think they're kind of doing a lot recently, just giving us a lot of uh, reworks of old cards, or just expanding on old cards, which I think is really, really cool. So. Uh, let's see, the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn, of course, Light Fiend 1200, yada yada yada, Link 2. During the main phase, you can fusion summon one Fiend monster from your extra deck by shuffling materials on it from your graveyard into the deck. I like it. So far, so good. So we're gonna go ahead and Link Summon this guy off, uh, or Link Summon into this guy. And use this effect to fusion summon by shuffling back. Okay, so it's like, uh, it's like Lubelion. Lubelion shuffles back, right? Uh, so not bad and then you can target one non-link light fiend monster you control equip this to this card from your grave from your field or graveyard equip as an equip uh, equip spell so I like that these two both equip from the field or graveyard which is nice to have that uh, versatility with it um, but we're definitely gonna be getting some more support because this is way too well I wonder if we're gonna be getting a higher link rating the way that uh, the first fusion monster becomes even stronger or the second one whichever one uh, negates your opponent cannot target this. Uh, okay, gotcha. Your opponent cannot target the equipped monster with card effects, so it makes it untargetable, which is nice, of course. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. Target one only like when equip this card. Okay, so overall, not bad. I think so far we have potential here to be decent, but let's see. We got two, three more support cards. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be taking too long. I just want to go ahead and make sure I soak it all in. You know what I'm saying? So we got Fiendsmith Tractus, which is him just kicking this thing's ass. Uh, or maybe I should censor that. Goddamn. Anyway, uh, so normal spell card. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Uh, first effect is you can add one Light Fiend monster from your deck to your hand. Then discard one card. Fair enough. That's fine. Because uh, it seems like a lot of card that you send to the graveyard, you can just recycle anyway, so you're, that seems good enough to me. Plus, if you put in the Fiendsmith into the graveyard, you can just go ahead and shuffle it back with the uh, Link 2 in order to actually fusion summon, so that's not bad. You're just going to have to find a whole bunch of Light Fiends, and off the top of my head, honestly, I can't think of any. But <laughs> but I know they exist. I know they exist, so don't, don't flame me too hard in the comments, but I know they exist. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard to fusion summon one Fiendsmith fusion monster from your extra deck using monster from hand or field as material. Alright, now we're talking. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Okay, so after you activate the effect, you banish this card, right? Use the first second effect. Of the okay, so you can activate both in the same ch in the same turn. That's crazy. So you fusion summon and then you banish... No, you search and then you banish this card to fusion summon. Hand or field. Okay, that doesn't shuffle back. It's not as crazy. But really good. It had it, it's crazy that it lets you wait each once per turn. It's crazy that it lets you use both effects in the same turn. I think I feel like most effects that have this are like like original sinful spoils. You can't activate both in the same turn or something. So I thought it was gonna have that type of effect, but it's more like wanted where you can use each effect once per turn, which is crazy. So you can generate a lot of advantage. So we got here Fiend Smith Sanctus, okay. So, ooh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Let me not read that. Uh, so it's a quick play spell card. You can only use the first and second effect if this card's name each once per turn. Again, each once per turn. So if you control no face-up monsters or all face-up monsters you control are light fiend monsters, you can push them on fiend smith token. Uh, it's very familiar to another card I know. Fiend with fiend tokens, you know? Uh, so let's see. E light fiend monster, special summon one fiend monster, level one, zero attack, zero defense. You can also not declare attacks for the rest of this turn, except with fiend monsters, which is perfectly fine. So that's not really a restriction you have on yourself, which is great. 
If a face up Fiendsmith monster you control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, while the card's in your graveyard, you can set this card. And then you get to go ahead and go into the token, and then you can go ahead and do token shenanigans from there. Not bad, you can actually go ahead and link summon with them, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, not bad. So, sets this card. It sets itself, which is nice, of course. I, I like it. I like it. I'm not blown away by it, don't get me wrong, I'm not blown away, but that's pretty cool. Okay. So you just got to you just rebuild the same board over again next turn because it just resets itself and you only really need one monster to go ahead and go off. So not bad, okay. And a whole bunch of nonsense. So I'm uh, it's too much to read. So then we got the trap card. So it's Fiend Fiendsmith in Paradisium in Parad Paradisium Paradisium. Uh, normal trap card. You can only use the first second effect of e this card's name each once per turn. Target one level 7 or higher Light Fiend monster you control, which really is only just the one fusion monster that we had that's level 9, for now. And send all cards on the field to the graveyard except that monster. What? <laughs> okay, I need to start researching Light Fiend because that effect is crazy. Target one level 7 or higher Light Fiend monster. Just making sure I read that correctly, right? Send all cards on the field, on the field, to the graveyard except that monster. That's crazy. It doesn't destroy. It just sends everything to the graveyard. And you get to keep your monster. That's really good. Okay, this card is crazy. I didn't even read the second effect. This card's nuts. What? That's wild. That, I feel that I mentioned the first time I read Trickstar Reincarnation. It says... Banish your opponent's entire hand, and that's all I read because <laughs> that's all that matters. That's crazy. Okay, so if your opponent special summons a monster while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, send one Fiendsmith monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. Especially the monster. Okay, so I'm not seeing the synergy with that one, but the first effect is crazy. <laughs> okay, and it looks like that's gonna be it for it. Um, obviously we're going to be getting a lot more support for this because it, it references a lot of potential applicability to have more Fiendsmith monsters in the main deck specifically. Also, because we need to have level 7 or higher, maybe we get additional fusions, additional links. And then, again, link monsters ha with higher link ratings would be nice, but it feels like you're going to need a lot of special summoning style effects with this deck. Just to be able to go ahead and link climb and fusion and do all these kind of fun things. And I really, off the top of my head, cannot think of any light fiend uh, archetypes, which is terrible because I know they exist. I know they exist, but I can't think of any right now. But I will look deeper into this archetype because it seems really interesting, guys. Honestly, it seems really cool. Uh, artwork's really badass, honestly. Really badass artwork, uh, decent effects, and has the potential to gain a lot more, uh, of course, uh, support down the line. So it's a deck to at least look into as we head into, uh, of course, like past Legacy of Destruction, uh, going into the Infinite Forbidden. Uh, and then honestly, we'll see how it goes from there guys. But honestly, I think it's pretty cool Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys leave a like subscribe Make sure you guys check out the whatnot link in the description pick up your essentially free copies of popular Hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>